And then you also wrote clients also states that her head is bruised and that she lost clumps of hair and altercation. You wrote that. I assume so, it's in my notes. Okay. And then you wrote, Aaron briefly looked at client's scalp but was unable to visualize the, hemat the hematomas client had described. You wrote that. Notes by Aaron Filotti, Amber Heard's former nurse, have been on display during today's trial and it has come to people's attention that the nurse never saw any visible marks on Amber that would indicate that Depp had hit her. Nurse Aaron explains that on that particular day she had gone over to Amber's house to deliver some medication and after waiting for several minutes Amber Heard opened the door looking disheveled. Her hair appeared unrushed, her posture slouched and she looked weepy and sad. Amber then told Nurse Aaron that she had had an argument with her husband and had not had contact with him since the altercation. The nurse noticed that Amber was bleeding from her lips and when she pointed that out, Amber told her she'd gotten the injury during her argument with Depp. Amber also stated that her head was bruised and that she had lost clumps of hair during the fight with Depp. Nurse Erin then looked at Amber's head but could not see the bruises and lost hair that Amber had claimed to have so. She advised Amber to see Dr. Kipper or go to an emergency care for further assessment. You know better than I, there was an incident in Australia and they had to be, Ms. Heard and Mr. Depp had to be separated. Nurse Erin also pointed out the fact that Amber and Depp had previously fought in Australia and the person who ended up getting injured was actually Johnny Depp. When asked on how working for Amber was, she said that when she was first hired to look after Amber Heard she worked full-time, basically being assigned to Amber 24-7. But after a period of time she became more part-time and on-call and she was also working with other different clients. Even though she wasn't working regularly, she would be on-call whenever an issue arose or on special occasions when she was needed. When she was on the case with them, she had been hired to help assist Amber with some emotional anxiety issues and during that period she recalls seeing Amber very angry because someone had hacked into her phone. She was in London with Amber at that time and she recalls Amber was yelling and crying in a loud elevated voice. I do recall her seeing her very angry and I believe it was in reference to a violating incident where her phone had been hacked and she was quite upset. I saw her angry. I recall loud kind of elevated uh, voice yelling crying uh, quite a that's it for this video tell us your thoughts about the situation in the comments section have a great day and see you in my next video